Hey everybody, I pray each and every one of you are doing well. Amen, amen. God is good, God is good. I'm gonna keep saying that. Even when there's tough times, God is good. Even when in the midst of our wilderness, God is good. Even when there's confusion, God is good because God is good. That is his name. He is a good God and he loves you so much and he wants you to prosper. He wants you to grow. He wants you to have that expected end. Tw Jeremiah 29, 11, right? So today he put something in my spirit again for this morning. And it's interesting because he gave me a revelation with it. So the Holy Spirit was speaking to me on my way to work today. And we were talking about um, seeking and finding. And it's interesting because the Lord had told me this is a season of the summer coming up is a season of um, the treasures of your heart. And I see him already dabbling a little bit more into it. And I was going to do a woman's... Um, kind of with a woman's book club, I was going to go ahead and do a meeting that was going to be titled Treasures of the Heart. So what are you basically seeking? And so I'm, I'm still in the works of that, but I see God is taking little steps and giving me little hints of it. So it's interesting. So basically he told me this morning again about when you seek, you shall find. And that's Matthew 7, right? You ask, you shall receive, seek, and you shall find, knock, and the door shall be open to you, right? So we all know that. They say it many times, but it's interesting when the Holy Spirit gives you a revelation on it. Now, that turns the whole scripture around um, in a way that you didn't even think. And that's why it's so important to have the Holy Spirit. It's so important to be baptized by the Holy Spirit, to listen to what he's saying. He never goes anything outside the word of God, but he will show you. It's like kind of like the way I always look at it is that you have a park bench, right? But when the Holy Spirit reveals something to you and he gives you that revelation, now you have the park bench, you have the trees, you have the bird, you have the sky, the green grass below. That's how he shows things to us. He simplifies it and shows us in a way that we can understand and really appreciate and enjoy. Amen. You know, being a Christian is not just about religion. It's relationship, but it's more than just a relationship. It's a, it's, um, it's a, um, it's communication um, between us and the Father. It's, the, it's just the way he just fellowships with us. A amen. So back on this, um, seek and you shall find, right? So, you know, uh, doing things right, amen. You know, I've posted videos about that. I've posted things about just following God. I'm listening to what he says, being a Mary and not a Martha, right? Um, definitely believing. So yesterday he had told me about miracles. And um, actually a couple, I think about a week ago about miracles. And then he, and I kept on saying, well, you know, I need to believe that these miracles is, is you know, um, it's impossible to please God without the faith, right? So you got to believe, you got to believe that God can do these things. How far are you stretching your belief? How far are you stretching your faith, right? How far are you going to believe God for the impossible? Don't put them in a box. I know my cousin told me that. Don't put them in a box, Lisa. You know, so you got to think outside the box when it comes to God. And then there you're going to see your miracles happening. So me and the Lord had conversations. We talked. And so I decided to list miracle number one, miracle number two, miracle number three. It might seem a little weird and out of the box, but that's just the way I felt my prayers and miracles that I needed to come through at this time. Um, they were breakthroughs and I needed one literally after the other, after the other. And so I've been seeing God really answer one, two, three, four, five, you know, coming, coming through. And so this morning with the seek and find, he was telling me how, you know, what you seek, you will find, right? But what are you really seeking for? And that is a question for you. I want you to marinate on this because I'm going to actually do a video more on this. But what are, what seeds are you planting? that you want a harvest for? What are you believing God for? What are you seeking for? Because if you're seeking, um, if you're seeking, let's say your heart says, you know, you'll never get that job. I'll never have that child, you know? So you're kind of like planting that seed of negativity and what's gonna come out of it? You're not gonna get the job. You're not gonna get better. You're not because you're planting negativity instead of 
you know, because as the Bible says that what you sow, you should reap. So it's the same thing. What are you seeking for? You know, you can be running out and seeking for a husband in a club. Well, what are you going to get? You're going to get somebody that I'm not saying everybody is like that. But if you're really looking for somebody with God's heart, you're not going to find them really in a club. You're not going to find them, you know, going to the club at two o'clock in the morning and shaking your booty. You know, um, you're not going to find them in the bar drinking. You know what I mean? What are you seeking? Where are you chasing? What are you chasing? Where are you looking for this treasure? You know, because you're going to end up finding it in the wrong area, the wrong place. And the devil is deceiving. So that's pretty much what I wanted to come on. I got to go back because I'm on lunch. But I wanted to go ahead and just give you a little taste of what the Lord is showing me so you can marinate on it and also list your miracles. What are you believing God for in that sense? List them and then give thanks in advance. And then also seeking, what are you seeking for? Amen. Is it lined up with God's word? Is it something that God will want for you? So that way you can reap the harvest. You can find your treasure. Amen. Because it is possible. God does miracles nowadays. But again, you need to believe. God bless you. I hope you have a day, a good day. And thank you for being part of um, a real talk with a real God. Sorry about that. Amen. And part of the book club, Together Beyond Blessed. God bless you all. Bye now.